everybody video here for you today i usually record my videos in the morning well this is a night owl video i have documented a lot of places in egypt a lot of places you can still go visit today this place down here well not so much this is the site of buhen right down here when the aswan dam was built and lake nasser created this place was lost to history 1964 it went underwater but this is a pretty impressive uh, place down here can't go visit today. That's why I'm going to make the video. It's located right down here. The old dynasty had an outpost down in this area of Egypt that went all the way back to the second dynasty almost 5,000 years ago. But this place down here was built probably about 3,850 years ago, roughly. It was right down here. Let's just take a look. I believe a couple links below. Here is one from a couple years ago Buhen Sunken Fortress under the Nile. Here's a look at this very impressive fortress. Lost to history over 50 years ago. It says during the Middle Kingdom era, King Senderset III established castles and fortresses to protect Egypt from the south, such as the Buhen Fortress that sunk in the Nile as a result of flooding. Here is a model recreation of what was here at Buhen. This was reconstructed during the New Kingdom about 3,400, 3,300 years ago. But this was over 150 meters long, over 500 feet long. Up against the Nile here, it had drawbridges, bastions, battlements, ramparts, other things. Certainly a fortress. Even though this is located in ancient Nubia, northern Sudan today, this is actually the northernmost of about five or six of these kind of forts. This might have been the most impressive one. Not sure what that tower is all about right there, but pretty fascinating ruins here. Well, I started this video at night, but now I'm finishing it in the morning. Try to get this one uploaded on Friday. Here's King Senroset III, the one who got this fortress going, roughly 1800 BC, something like that. We have a lot of places in Egypt we can still go visit today. This is one of the more impressive ruins that has been lost under the Nile, that is for sure. Here's a video. I will leave the link to this video, just a quick one, but it has a recreation of what this place looked like. Built roughly 3,800 years ago and then rebuilt by the New Kingdom, maybe about 400 years later. As far as older ruins here, it says the Old Kingdom was here. This was the site of an Old Kingdom trading post. It says that was also used for copper working. It says there's evidence here going back to the Second Dynasty. That would take it back almost 5,000 years. It says an archaeological investigation in 1962 revealed what was described as an ancient copper factory. That's going back, way back into the old kingdom. When the dam got built, a few places got saved. Abu Simbel, the Isis Temple, Island of Filet, a few other places. This place, all they had time to do was do some quick excavation and research. You notice here the sands have just kind of filled up some of these places. This, really, all we have left is a look. Some old black and white photos here. Here on this website, it says the fortress stretch are about 500 meters along the Nile, being about 200 meters deep. Walls are about 5 meters thick and 10 meters high, contain fortified town, large enough for 3,500 people. It included drawbridges, battlements, loopholes, and a catapult. Here was also the administration of the region between the first and second cataracts. There was also a large temple of Horus built by Queen Hatshepsut, which is now in the National Museum of Sudan. Here it just gives a little history. It goes back to 2600 BC at least. If there's evidence of second dynasty ruins, well, it goes back a little bit further. But here is the complete history down here, taken by the Kushites at one time. King Senroset III built the original fortress here 3,800 years ago. There's some additional black and white pics right there. Here is a map of the area. Remember, this is in northern Sudan. Here is Buhen, the northernmost fortress, just north of the second cataract of the Nile here. Here are other lookout posts and fortresses all the way down in this area here. I will also leave this link below. They talk about rock inscriptions in the area, one of a scorpion on a hill or gebel nearby. I've talked about a pre-dynastic ruler, a scorpion king, coming from times that we are not taught about. found that interesting, but they attribute that to the Middle Kingdom. Even though this was a fortress, they did have a Temple of Horus here. Some of it did get saved. This is in 
museum in Sudan. But here are some afterlife scenes. I'm assuming here is Horace down here, Falcon Head. I think this is Head Shepsut right here. Head Shepsut had this temple built maybe 3,500 years ago. Talking to the falcon headed god Horus there, one of the most important gods of Egypt. Falcon headed, soars to the afterlife. But she was one of the mighty rulers of the 18th dynasty. Other rulers included the Tutmoses, Amenhotep III, a mighty ruler, Akhenaten, King Tut, some others. But that's a pretty famous time period coming from ancient Egypt when some of the most impressive temples and other things were built. Here is Hatshepsut. She declared herself ruler of Egypt when she was 22 years old. She was the second female to do this. There's kind of one kind of unknown female ruler coming from the late 12th dynasty, but Hatshepsut, certainly the most famous one. She has a famous mortuary temple in the Valley of the Kings. Pretty interesting story. I talked about her a long time ago. Maybe I'll do another video on her in the coming days. Here's a look at the group who excavated this place about 70 years ago. Walter Bryan Emery was the leader of this expedition. Here's their site plan, Buhan, a site submerged. They have a pick down here, a colored pick of some of the ruins that they were working with. It says, within one season, Emery found that the previous excavators had not cleared enough sand away to reveal the substantial Middle Kingdom bastion perimeter walls surrounding the inner fortress or the full extent of the defenses around the settlement area. There's a pic, some of the ruins here, found before the dam flooded this area. I will leave the link to this website below. They have a couple videos, of part one, part two, the final survey of Lower Nubia, the chronicles of the exploration of Walter Bryan Emery. I thought this was pretty fascinating. A lot of these sites lost to history, but I will leave this website below if you want to check out these videos. Flooding on the Nile here wiped out some history, that is for sure. This certainly fits in with some videos I made during the shutdown, probably at least half a dozen of them. Sites in Syria, Turkey, ancient America lost to dam construction and flooding. This is a massive construction project, probably done in a couple phases, going back to almost 4,000 years, and who knows what's under the ground. That could go back further in history here. Here's a drawing done of this place a long time ago. You can tell the sands kind of took over this place a long time ago. But I've talked a lot on my channel about lost history coming from Egypt. Well, the Egyptians built some pretty incredible places. This is one of them. Here's another color pick coming from over 50 years ago. All these forts down here constructed along the Nile were kind of like toll booths. They were controlling commerce coming up into ancient Egypt when it was its most powerful. Just some history lost here. This fits in perfectly with stuff I talked about. Stuff that we can't see today or just been lost to time. Well, that is my ancient history video. I made one music video a little earlier. I will leave the link to that below, but this place is fairly close to Abu Simbel. I know a lot of you know about that site, but some lost history. I made a lot of videos on Egypt, a lot of the famous sites, so I don't mind cover the not so famous ones, especially the ones that are submerged beneath the Nile here. But one thing you got to remember when you are looking back to Egypt at this time period, just forget about the recent borders, ancient Egypt back in these ancient times, especially the New Kingdom extended all the way down to present day Sudan. The northern border extended all the way up to Baalbek here in Lebanon. Yeah, the New Kingdom was at Baalbek, trust me. But that is the video today coming from Egypt. Hope you thought that was interesting. And you all have a very nice day.